We're now going to be looking at the link between simple harmonic motion and circular motion. If you imagine an object undergoing circular motion and then looking down from on top, looking at the projection of the shadow of that object, the projection is actually undergoing simple harmonic motion. So this demonstration is going to show you how the projection of circular motion goes as simple harmonic motion. So if I turn this handle at a constant rate, you'll see the little round dot move around in a circle in the constant rate. This white ball at the top is going to track how high the white dot is here. When I move this at a constant rate, then this ball at the top is moving with simple harmonic motion. We're going to prove that now. So imagine point P here. It makes an angle phi with the x-axis. This is a circle. The radius of the circle is capital A, standing for the amplitude, but it's also the radius. The x-coordinates of point P are given by A cos phi, as this is the adjacent side to this angle. The y-coordinates are given by A sine phi. Now we want to consider the case where phi is actually changing with time. So phi is our initial angle. If we want P to undergo circular motion, then it's going to travel around this circle at a constant rate, and its angle will give him, be given by theta is equal to phi, the initial angle, plus omega t. Okay, now let's consider the speed of this particle. The particle is undergoing circular motion, so its speed, v, is given by omega r. In this case, the radius is capital A, so the speed is omega a. Now, we're just interested in the x component of this speed. You can see it's back towards the equilibrium position, so it's in the opposite direction to the position. Hence, we've got a negative sign. So the speed, here's the angle theta, this angle here's theta, this angle is 90 minus theta. So the speed is given by v sine theta, which is equal to minus omega a sine theta. And so remember, theta is just omega t plus phi. So the speed, the x component of the speed is minus omega a sine omega t plus phi, which was the same as what we had for simple harmonic motion, showing that the projection of this motion onto the x-axis is simple harmonic motion simple harmonic, at least for the velocity. Let's finally consider the acceleration. As you all know, acceleration is directed towards the center of the circle for circular motion. So the acceleration is given by v squared on r, r is a, which is omega squared a, substituting in v equals omega a. And now consider just the projection of the acceleration onto the x-axis. This angle in here is theta this time, so we have a cos theta. So the acceleration is equal in the x, the x component of the acceleration is equal to the total acceleration times cos theta times a negative as it's in the negative x direction. And so we've got the acceleration in the x direction is equal to minus omega squared a cos theta, which we can write as minus omega squared a cos omega t plus phi. And this is the same as the acceleration for simple harmonic motion. So the projection of an object undergoing simple harmonic uh, so the projection of an object undergoing circular motion onto either the x or the y axis undergoes simple harmonic motion.